Do you want a quick, easy, and intuitive way to measure things inside of Blender, whether it be for 3 modeling or architecture? Well, then you're in the right place. Let's jump straight into it. Before I get started, I'd like to mention that Quick Measure is a paid add-on, and it will cost you $20 for your own personal license. I will have an affiliate link in the description below. Let's start with installation. Once you have the add-on downloaded, you can either click and drag it into your Blender to install it, or you can go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, go to the down arrow in the top right corner, hit Install from Disk, find where you've located your add-on, click on it, and hit Install from Disk. Once you've done that, you should see Quick Measure within your add-ons list. You can search it. If you can't find it, you should be able to search it easily by just typing in the word quick. Make sure the box is checked. You have a drop down here. You can override the colors of the lines from the Blender defaults, the text, and the unit type. And down here, you can remap some of the controls. Now that you have the add-on installed, if you click N on your keyboard or go into the top right corner to open up your end panel, you should have a tab called Q Measure for a Quick Measure. There is two primary dropdowns here that matter to us, measurements and hotkeys. Hotkeys is just a useful submenu to help you quickly remember what all the shortcuts are to using the tool. I will be guiding these hotkeys so you can get a better idea of what they really do. Measurements is where you'll find your saved lines. So as you can see here, I have a saved line right now. You'll see it showed up in measurements where I can either hide it or delete it. I built a little house model here for us to practice on. So firstly, Alt is going to be your main shortcut button for this add-on. Doing Alt and click will give you a freehand measurement, and then every time onwards will give you another freehand measurement. Alt and hold will give you a freehand measurement, but once you let go, it will disappear. Alt control click will give you a locked in measurement that will snap to geometry, and each continuous click will also provide you another line. Alt control hold we will do the same thing, but only give you a single line. Now we have the same thing involving shift. You can think of shift as save and show within this add-on. So Alt Shift Click will give you a freehand measurement that allows you to do multiple measurements. But now they've stayed, and you can see that they saved in the top right corner. You can do Alt Shift Hold Click, which will give me one line that gets saved. Alt Shift Control Click, which will give me snapping lines, alt shift control hold, which will give me snapping singular lines. And now we got kind of a mess. So control alt X will delete all the lines. Now I'm gonna do shift alt click and I'm gonna make a quick line to show you that you can also delete one line at a time. So interact with the line you'd like to delete or just click them up here in the top right corner and then hit Alt X and you will delete that specific line. Now, if you're following along, you might notice that maybe you can't see your lines even though they're shown. That would be Alt Shift X. Alt Shift X is a toggle to show the measurements. Let's keep them shown. We're pretty much almost done here. Future me butting it. I just wanted to mention that when you go into edit mode, the mouse button switches. So instead of an Alt left click, it becomes Alt right click. And this goes for every other shortcut. You'll also see that here in the hotkeys that actually changes to right mouse button. And if you do a line and you save it, so let's do a snapping line here that I want to save. And then let's grab it. You can drag it along a certain axis by just hitting that axis while moving it. Now let's jump back to where we were. You can hide and show measurements individually once all measurements are shown in the top right corner. You can delete them with the X as well. And you can interact with your measurements right here. So you can easily get angled measurements. You can hit control while doing it to get snapping back. And by me doing that, now I've changed a freehand line into a perfect measurement of the 90 degree angle of my home corner right here. Overall, Quick Measure is a quick, efficient, reliable, and easy way to measure your objects within Blender. If you like this add-on, consider picking it up on the Blender market.